What's good, heavy eaters? It's your boy, Big Nico, and we back. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'm tired as hell, but that doesn't take away from my work ethic. I just got off a 12-hour shift. I'm, st I'm doing things different today. Instead of going straight to the gym, I'm going straight to my house where I'm at now. Gonna run my mile, then complete my 120 push-ups. Then finish it off at the gym. Because today's Wednesday. on, And you know Wednesdays are leg days. So last leg day killed me. I was sore for the next. I want to say two, three days. Excuse, excuse the slob. I'm just tired as hell right now. You know we might get a little short vlog today. Who knows. We'll see. Because pretty much I'm just after my workout. I'm just going to knock out, you know, because rest is important. That's very important that you get your rest because it allows your muscles to heal, your body to heal. Importantly, your mind to heal. Anyways, y'all, we'll pick up on the mile run. Let's just jump right into this 20 piece before we get our mile in. Remember, y'all, we got 100 down, 20 to go. What are you waiting for? Get your lazy ass up. Get on the floor and do these pushes with me. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Remember, y'all. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Remember, the hardest part is starting. You could say all this stuff, but are you doing push-ups? Come on now. Today's a new day, so let's start today. 20 pieces, count them out loud. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One twenty, y'all. Hey. Don't be Hollywood. Just get on your knees if you can't do regular push-ups and do your push-ups. Saying this out of motivational purposes. Cause I know certain people like to talk that smack. But anyways, y'all. But yeah. If you're one of those people, just know that I love you. You know? All love right here. No negative vibes, positive vibes. Anyways, y'all, we can get right into the mile. Just got done jogging my mile, came in at 13 or a little bit over 13. Pausing workout. But I'm going to start doing this before my leg days, do my push-ups, my mile, then hit the gym. I just feel like that's more beneficial that, you know, I get I get that run in before. So it stretches my calves, my my legs out, you know. And also, we trying to prevent injuries. So we're basically going to work on form and build our way up. But anyways, y'all, here's my finished product. Y'all still here? You know me reflecting on my life before I hit them legs. Anyways, y'all stay tuned. back heavy eaters so basically i'm gonna end this vlog right here but i'm gonna recap what i did today so basically you know big nico always getting that w so fresh and so clean clean w anyways all jokes aside um i had to start my day off with 120 push-ups straight out of work you know then from there on i did my mile run the goal was to get her under 13 once I screenshotted this pic, it was, I believe, 13.06, but according to my app, it was 
12.59. So I barely made that. I did meet my goal. Then from there, I went to the um, gym, you know, because we don't miss today's. Today was leg day, so basically, you know, I warmed up my legs for 30 minutes on the bike, how to get that five-mile rate. From there on, just working on accessory work, you know, working out my glutes, thighs. I did some leg presses, single leg presses. I did hit the squat rack. Um, didn't really put up any crazy weights. I just kept it where I, I had control. So, cause, look, keep that in mind, y'all. It's my second week back at the gym. Not trying to be Lou Fregno or Arnold Schwarzenegger. Nico Schwarzenegger. Anyways, y'all. I ain't trying to go all beast mode yet, you know. We'll save that for a later time. We're trying to get stronger. That's the goal. Working on that form. But anyways, you know. I had I hit that, I did some ab work, you know. Um, from there on, you know. I had to get my car situated. I had a flat. It wasn't a flat, but air was coming out. Then on, you know, got some new workout gear, which you might see tomorrow in tomorrow's video. I am a 2X now. But, y'all stay tuned. Do. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard, and they're like, it's better than yours. Damn right. <laughs> and let's get back. Don't think I would, I didn't forget, y'all. For lunch, I did have wobble grill. I had like a sweet and spicy chicken bowl with my veggies, you know what I mean? Some brown rice, keeping it so fresh and so healthy. Then, you know, as we prolonged it, you know, had a coffee. You know, we got to stay stimulated and caffeinated. I reflected on my life a little bit. Then from there on, here at work, sipping on a peach mango. You know, this is zero calories. So, and it's keto. For all my ketos out there, cheers. Hey, if you're keto, take a drink. I know you're thirsty. I know, I know, I know, you know who I'm talking about. Take a drink. Hey, low key, this is probably better than my other drinks I'd be drinking. The other one's 20 calories, this is zero calories, and it tastes better. So you figure, but what y'all been waiting for? Rated G A F. And for the record, it was bomb. But, anyways, y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Comment down below. What do you want to see me do? If you in the Oxnard area and you want to get a lift in with your boy Nico, tap in. Anyways, y'all, my goal is to motivate one person a day. It could be you or your tío or your tía or your primo, anybody. But anyways, y'all, and if you're starting today, just remember this. The hardest part is to start. And don't think I forgot. Yeah, I'm talking to you. If you messed up today, come closer. Come closer. The diet starts tomorrow.